Welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday, guys, where I try to give you just a little bit of photography knowledge in under two minutes, so let's get started. Number one, check all of your settings before you start your photo shoot. A lot of people are in the habit of checking their shutter and their aperture, but they forget to check the ISO, and you might have the night before maybe had your ISO on 3200, so check all three of them, ISO, shutter, and aperture, and that'll keep you from messing up down the road. Number two, if you're using a flash, try to bounce the flash off the ceiling or anywhere you can bounce it from, get it diffused, because if you just point it straight into your subject's eyes, you may get red eye or cause harsh shadows, so it's best to try to bounce it. Number three, shoot in RAW. Now I know some of you may not know how to use RAW, so you're shooting in JPEG, but go ahead and turn your camera to shoot in RAW and JPEG because in six months you may know how to edit RAW. So then you can go back and edit your pictures with all the advantages that RAW has to offer. So that's a big plus. So shoot in RAW plus JPEG for now if you need to. Number four, get the eyes in focus and get the eyes lit up. Make sure there are no shadows in the eyes. So, because what makes your pictures really pop is when your subject's eyes are lit up and looking beautiful and in sharp focus. So Check the eyes, that's the windows to the soul. So get those eyes in focus and get them lit up. Number five, pay attention to your background. You may have just spent 10 minutes setting up a large family to photograph, but if you're shooting at a park, you need to make sure because you could have 17 clowns walking through the background, you never know. So always check your background. I know you're focused on the family, your subject that you're shooting, but do check out your background because there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the background. So make sure the background's looking good before you start shooting or you might be doing a lot of Photoshop work later that you don't need to do. Number six, back up your images. If you're doing a small shoot, senior your portrait, whatever, uh, make sure you have them in at least two places. You got them on your memory card and then back them up on your computer before you leave your shoot. Now, if you're doing a bigger event or a wedding, a minimum of three, have them on your memory cards, on your computer, and then get an external hard drive. And before you leave that wedding, transfer everything from your computer over to the external hard drive so that you have them in at least three different places and then keep them stored in different areas. So in case anything was to get stolen or fire, whatever, you got everything backed up just as you need. And then when you can, get your pictures backed up on a website like Shootproof or whatever. That way you've got them backed up in the cloud or a website where you're showing them to your customer. The more backups, the better. So there you go. Hey guys, if we're helping you guys out, Give us a big thumbs up. My email's down at the bottom. Leave a comment and please hit that subscribe button. Have a good day. Thanks.